to price a product. An organization has various options for selecting a pricing method. Prices are based on three dimensions that are cost, demand, and competition. Now let's look at the three factors that go into most retail, manufacturing, artisan, and e-commerce product pricing strategies. Understanding the basics. Pricing. Product pricing comprises of two parts, markup and profit margin. Let us now look at the terms and what is the math behind the numbers. Markup. Markup is the amount you add your product cost to get your selling price. For example, let's say you want to simply double your product cost to get to your final selling price. This is how it works. This gives you a 100% markup because you're adding 100% of your cost to get your selling price. Basically, just doubling your cost. Many a times, you may want to mark up your products by a different percentage, say a 75% markup or a 150% markup. In such cases, you will need to use this formula. For example, a $100 item with a 75% markup is figured like this. And a 150% markup looks like this. The markup percentage and your base product cost will depend on several factors like wholesale cost, manufacturing cost, and overhead, which will be mentioned in the video. Depending on these factors, we can use the above math and calculate the selling price. Profit margin. Profit margin is the percentage on your selling price minus the cost of your product. If a product sells for $200 and costs $100, you have a 50% profit margin. But adding a 50% profit margin is rarely feasible. So here's the map you'll use to figure your profit margin for other markups. Selling price minus cost divided by selling price gives you profit margin. For example, a $100 item cost with a 75% markup sells for $175. Here is its profit margin. Gives you 42% profit margin. In the same way, a $100 item cost with a 150% mark markup sells for $250. Here is its profit margin. Gives you 60% profit margin. Now you know how to mark up a product based on its cost and how to figure your profit margin for your pricing. Let's look at some of the popular pricing strategies that can guide how you price a product. Common pricing strategies for your industry. First, we need to know which pricing strategies apply to your industry. This will simplify how you price a product, minimize the math you need to do, and give you a window into your competitor's pricing strategies. Let us look at six commonly used pricing strategies and the types of businesses that use them the most. Keystone pricing. Keystone pricing is when you mark up the price by 100% or double the product's wholesale cost to get the selling price. Keystone pricing is the retail pricing rule of thumb and also extends to retail e-commerce. Generally, retailers and e-commerce sellers use keystone pricing as a base markup on most goods, then apply higher markups or discounted pricing to certain items based on demand, volume, and competition. MSRP, that is Manufacturer's Suggested Retail Price, used by retailers and e-commerce retailers. 
MSRP is another top pricing strategy used by retailers and e-commerce sellers. Your product manufacturer sets the MSRP and that's how you price your product. For most goods, you'll find that MSRP is based on the keystone pricing strategy covered above. But they usually drop the MSRP selling price by 1 to 5 cents due to psychological pricing, which we'll discuss next. Here are common MSRP examples that you'll find on manufacturer and wholesaler price lists. The downside of using MSRP as your pricing strategy is that you will have the same prices as your competitors. So, you'll have to differentiate your store in other ways, such as free shipping for e-commerce sellers and exceptional in-store promotions for retailers. Psychological pricing Used by retailers, e-commerce retailers, big box stores and discount chains. Studies show that shoppers feel better about buying something for $3.95 versus $4. In fact, prices that end in odd numbers like 5 and 9 always beat out prices that end in even numbers in these studies. So, whatever pricing strategy you settle on, MSRP, Keystone or another that we discussed below, remember to apply psychological pricing strategies as well. Discount pricing Stores using discount pricing strategies regularly sell goods at prices under their competitors, Keystone or MSRP prices. Discount pricing is best for volume-driven businesses that can garner lower prices from suppliers due to volume purchasing. For the smaller retailer, an overall discount pricing strategy can leave you with razor-thin profits that easily dip into losses. But occasionally, discounting prices via sales, markdowns, seasonal specials, and coupons are excellent tools. With them, small businesses can kickstart drooping sales, unload stale stock, and take advantage of seasonal shopping trends. Loss Leader Pricing Loss leaders are select products that make little to no profit or even sell at a loss. The purpose is to have a few great deals that draw buyers in with the hope they'll also buy profitable goods. This is just a tactic for small businesses since you are taking the chance that your profits on other items sold will cover your loss leader costs. But if you can merchandise your profitable cross-sell or upsell items well, loss leader pricing can certainly lead to higher sales volume. Anchor pricing used by discount chains. Anchor pricing is another discount pricing strategy where you display a regular or MSRP price and your lower price on all goods that you sell. Anchor pricing helps you create an image in shoppers' minds that they will always get a lower than retail deal when they shop your store. Anchor pricing can actually work well for small sellers. It's especially useful if you sell in a niche that has competition, but not so much that you have to substantially lower your prices to deep discount levels. Often, a standard store-wide 5% to 10% anchor pricing discount is enough to create a memorable sense of value that brings shoppers back for more. The bottom line, there's one hard fact about product pricing, the process never ends. The pricing methods and strategies we covered above will get you started on a path to profitability, but you must revisit, review, test, and tweak your pricing every step of the way. Deciding how to price a product 
and the pricing strategies you adopt will change as your business changes. You might start with Keystone and MSRP, but as you grow, you might find that adding a collection of loss leaders helps you drive far more business. Or you might have a unique collection of goods or develop a great private label brand that you can sell for a markup far over Keystone. You might find that your handmade goods sell in low volume but at higher prices. This way you can make more per sale and make more per hour spent creating your goods.